But first tonight, new at 11, bed bugs are invading an upstate apartment building again. It is the Archibald Rutledge Building, and the Spartanburg Housing Authority says it's the second infestation there in six months. WYFF News 4's Liz Loheis is live and local in Spartanburg with the latest for us. Liz? Michael and Carol, I am live here outside Archibald Rutledge, where some people say their apartments are just crawling with these bed bugs. Spartanburg Housing Authority officials say they hope their new plan will get rid of the problem for good. I have rings, black rings, all along the back of my bed and around the corner. It's loaded with bed bugs. Michael Smith says he won't stay one more night in his apartment. I seen them crawling on me last night and I started chewing them off and I'm like, oh man. Smith says bites from the bugs are keeping him awake at night. Now he's staying with a friend who lives in the same building. It just it ain't fair. It's not fair at all. I have to get rid of all my furniture, all my clothes, everything that I have I have to get rid of. The Archibald Rutledge Apartments, which provide low-income housing for the elderly and disabled, had a similar problem six months ago. The housing authority had the infested apartment steamed, but the bugs came back. People ride around and sometimes they see what looks like to be a perfectly good couch on the side of the road and they think they'd like to take that home. Housing Authority Executive Director Daryl Dalton says new rules are being put in place. Anyone coming through the door with furniture will need to have it inspected at the front desk. If it is evidence that it has bed bugs or if it's been cut or ripped, we're not going to allow those things in the building. But before those rules go into place, all 12 floors and 150 rooms at Archibald Rutledge will go through an intense chemical treatment. But it's taking a big bite out of the budget. Dalton says it will cost about $85,000. So we need to make sure that we take the necessary steps after we go through this expensive process that we don't reintroduce bed bugs back into the building again. Now, any will be spray painted with the word bed bug, so hopefully people won't pick them up and bring those home. And this chemical treatment will take about two weeks to complete. Liz Lohe, WYFF News 4, live in Spartanburg.